destiny. Before I proceed, kindly subscribe to this channel, also help in sharing these testimonies. For a lot of people only share jokes and a lot of staffs that does not please God. Set an example. Amen. Before we were born, Jesus had drawn up a plan for every faithful servant. Jesus has not put all your secrets in the Bible so that we will come to God and pray we will have revelations. The angel said, the young Oscar who murdered your son is a chosen person for a great work. Satan was struggling to take that soul. The angel revealed that through him many souls will be saved. The angel said, if you do not preach the gospel to him, no one else will speak. His salvation is in your hands if you do not preach the word, he will die and go to hell. You will account for his blood and be responsible for all the souls this young man could have gained if he were a Christian. Everything you do in the material world is reflected in the spiritual world. If you win the soul of this young man, multitudes of people will be saved through him. If you let him die this crowd of people will not convert and they will go to hell. The angel showed me in a vision how it would be if young Oscar became a Christian. He had a Bible in his hand and talked about Jesus. A large crowd heard his message. He was pastor of a great church. My mind understood that this young man is important in the work of God. The angel showed me this young man on earth. And at that moment he was in danger of death. The devils gathered to reap his life before he was converted. The demons had a great sense of God's work in this life. The danger to the demons of losing that soul was my approach to this young man. I asked the angel why my son was allowed to die. The angel showed me a future vision. My son was in the vision and he was 18 years old. It had been three years later, he died at the age of 15. My son in the vision grew cold in the faith and decided to live his own life. He abandoned Jesus' path and got involved with drinks and drugs. He became involved with a girl he met in the underworld of addictions. And because of jealousy, he was possessed by a demon. He murdered his girlfriend with a knife and awoke with the body. Soon after, he was murdered by this girl's brother. I did not recognize my son, because in the future vision he was someone else. Satan had changed his personality. The angel said, if he lived here three years later, he would be someone who would bring a lot of pain to his parents. And he would still go to hell. God allowed him to die in the state of his purity. The moment he most sought God with all his heart, this was the best moment of his life. Satan was already planning to corrupt his life. There I understood how God works. Sometimes I questioned God that he was wrong to allow an event. God knows all things and we know nothing. If he allows the death of a loved one, God knows what he is doing. My son, if he lived another three years, would be in hell. And God would be just to send my son to the torment. The angel sent me back to earth. The heartache that I had in my heart was plucked by the angel. The angel took away the hurt in my heart. His hand entered my chest and pulled black mud from inside my heart. If you keep anger in your heart because a person who made you suffer you will not be saved. Pray to God and forget it, ask him to heal your heart. Nurturing anger in the heart condemns people and leads them to hell. In the torment is full of people with a heart full of rancor. I went to preach the gospel to the young man who murdered my son. And I also said that the boy he killed is my son. That young man became nervous and thought I would report him. I calmed down the boy and said that I have forgiven him for his crime. The young man cried because he did not expect my attitude of love, despite having killed my son. The young man asked me for forgiveness. He turned and bowed his knee, giving his life to Jesus. My love attitude caused more impact than 1000 words. That young man became a worker in my church. In one year God raised this man and he was never again the same. He was ashamed of his past and lamented for having caused pain in me that I was his shepherd. He helped me in the work and tried to fill the vacancy that my son left in the family. I told him that he does not have to sacrifice himself by wanting to fix something that will never be solved. I told him to stay in peace and worry about the work of God. He said goodbye to me and went to do the work in a distant country. And we never saw each other again. Another fact that happened was with a missionary friend. He traveled through Latin America until one day his plane crashed. I questioned God that he allowed the missionary to die. Jesus appeared to me, I was praying at night when I was visited. He said, everyone on the plane went to hell, but my servant is here with me, do not worry about him, he's in a better place than you. Worry about the lost souls that still live. Destiny.
Before I proceed.